The film starts by showing a woman, who was a single mother, that is, she did not have a husband, and was taking care of her daughter Grace alone. She has come here to London from the Philippines, so that she can earn good money here, and live a good life with her daughter Grace. But there was one problem, she had to live here secretly. She did not have a citizen certificate, so she was living there illegally, but now she somehow wants to get a citizen certificate. For which obviously, she needs money and this is the reason. She used to work for them while living in different houses, so that they could earn their living and also collect money. Mother and daughter were spending their days living in different houses, because they did not even have a house to live. After completing the day in one house, they go to the next house. Grace's mother does the cleaning of people's houses, cooks, takes care of the sick, and even baths and walks their dogs. Now, Grace is intelligent but is very mischievous, just as a child cannot sit comfortably, that is why she often does the opposite of what her mother tells her. Grace often asks her mother where her father is, to which her mother lies every time. That he is dead but the reality is different. The house where Grace and her mom were staying, now after completing the day there, they had to go to the next house whose owner never comes home, hence they had to go somewhere else. Now Grace's mom got a call from one of her friends, who said that I am busy tomorrow, so you can go to my client's house instead of me, to check on him and see how he is doing, is he fine? Because I have to do this work. Now, how can she go to an unknown house? Hence she refuses, but her friend says that you don't have to do anything, you just have to go there and check my client, he is an old man and often remains ill, for which now she agrees. That's why the very next day, Grace's mother, came to the house far away from the city, where the old man was to be checked. The house was very grand but there was no one there. Many times she called out to the old man and moved ahead, but there was no response. She then went straight to the room of the old man, who was lying lazily on the bed because he was in a coma. Grace's mother felt bad seeing him in this condition. So she starts praying for him, but then the old man grabs her hand, she gets scared, she frees her hand, and controls herself somehow. And then she feels the sound of someone coming, so she quickly tries to hide because if someone sees, her here and comes to know about it, that she had come here in place of her friend, then she could have got into trouble. The second problem was that she was living illegally, so this way too the problem could have been worse. She goes to a room to hide, but there is no place available there. Then suddenly the old man's niece comes in front of her, whose name is Catherine, who is not surprised to see Grace's mom, but says that I know the agency people must have sent you, because I had asked for a helper yesterday, to send someone to my house, who can help me and they would have sent you. Now she had no other option, so to save herself, she agreed with Catherine. Catherine asked Grace's mom about her. Then she started telling her about her uncle, that he has been in coma for the last one week. I take care of him but I needed a helper for the housework, cleaning, and cooking. Now I know that the agency people have sent you, but you tell me your wish, will you work with me as a helper, I will give you $1,000 a week. Now she needed money for the citizen certificate, and she could not refuse such a good offer. Now she agrees, although Catherine gives her a separate room to live in, but still, she does not tell her about her daughter Grace, because she was afraid that Catherine would refuse after hearing about her. Catherine tells her to bring her luggage in the evening, after which Grace's mom leaves from there. On the way, she calls her friend and tells him everything, and also about the old man that he is also fine. Her friend says that your visit was beneficial. It was good for you that you got such a good job there. Then she came home, and started packing her and Grace's luggage. Here she explained to Grace, that you will have to stay secretly in that house, and not do any mischief. Then we'll get the citizen certificate soon, after which we will be able to live freely, on which Grace also agrees, and now her mom hides Grace in a very big bag, and reaches Catherine's house. Here Catherine first gives her mom tea to drink, which her mom immediately drank, because Grace was locked in the bag, so she was afraid that she might die of suffocation. After drinking the tea, she quickly took the bag to her room, and took out Grace who was absolutely fine. Here again, her mom again explained to Grace, that you have to stay secretly, and do not come into the sight of this woman. Now Catherine quickly comes, seeing her, Grace immediately goes and hides in the bag. Actually, as soon as Catherine saw Grace's mom, it was found out that she is from the Philippines, so Catherine tells her to do this today, take rest, and start work from tomorrow. After which she leaves from here, after leaving, Grace's mom shows a wardrobe in the room and tells her, that is, when Catherine is at home, you will have to stay inside. So that even if she suddenly comes, she cannot see you. Don't worry, my daughter, we will not stay here for more than six weeks. The very next day, Catherine shows her the whole house, she also tells about the work which she had to do. She also said that yes, don't worry about uncle, I have given him medicine. 
I am going out of the house for some time for some important work. Saying this, she left. Grace's mom gets busy with her work. She cleans the entire house very well. Meanwhile, she finds a letter lying on the ground. Her mom was about to pick it up and read it, when suddenly Grace comes and scares her mom. After which both of them start talking, but then Catherine comes back here. Seeing which Grace quickly tries to hide. Now Catherine became very happy seeing the house shining. Then Grace's mom started engaging her in her talks, so that Grace quickly goes and hides. And now with great difficulty, Grace hid herself at a place. But she was not going to stop. She went straight to the old man's room. She climbed on the bed and started going toward the man. Within this time her mom comes. She started asking Grace why did you come out? I had told you to stay inside. Then Catherine called out to Grace from outside, so she hid Grace under the bed, and went out to listen to Catherine. But still, the trouble was not over, because then Catherine went to her uncle's room, to give him his afternoon medicine. Where Grace was also hiding under the bed. And now a pill fell down, which Grace had already seen before Catherine. When she picks it up, Grace quickly turns aside. Now Catherine gives medicine to her uncle and leaves from there. And thus once again, Grace narrowly escapes. Grace tells her mom that Catherine gives sleeping pills to her uncle. But her mom said, okay, sleeping pills, but how do you know that they were sleeping pills? Grace replies once you sent me to get the vitamin pills. I accidentally brought sleeping pills anyway. I saw the pill when Catherine was feeding her uncle. Her mother said, my child, who knows, its structure may be similar. Not every medicine that looks similar has the same effect. Grace got angry at her mom that she is not believing her because she suspected that Catherine might be a bad woman too. Now as the night fell and everyone slept, Grace started roaming around the house in search of something to eat, where suddenly Catherine appeared in front of her. Grace gets scared and says oh, what is this, Catherine here, but when she noticed, Grace noticed that Catherine's eyes were closed. She was walking in sleep. Now Catherine started moving forward like this, then Grace started following her. She saw that Catherine was going towards the storeroom, and now as she went inside, Grace stood outside and started looking inside, to see what Catherine was going to do. Catherine then removed a curtain, behind which there was a dead body of a woman in a big glass box. Seeing this, Grace gets very scared but she still keeps watching. And now Catherine also says in her sleep that she will burn the entire house. The next morning, Grace's mom notices that Catherine is not in a good mood today regarding the property. She will have to go to meet a lawyer, which will take a few days, so Catherine tells Grace's mom that I'll not be here for a few days. Then along with managing the entire house, you will have to give medicines to the uncle in my place. She also teaches her how to feed the medicine. Grace's mom notices that Catherine is forcing the old man to take the medicine. She also notices the strange thing that she keeps her hand over the uncle's mouth until he swallows the medicine. Which Catherine taught him. Grace's mom obviously doesn't like this thing. And now before leaving, Catherine gives her some money and leaves from here. Grace's mom sees that Grace is right. That is, Catherine was giving sleeping pills to her uncle. Grace tries to tell her mother what she saw last night. But her mother does not listen to her because she is busy in work. Then she remembers something. She tells Grace to take it easy, saying that she went out of there. Actually, earlier she used to be a nurse, and she had also worked in a house as a caretaker. That is, she used to take care of a patient there. She had come to know about some medicines and their effects, what happens when they are taken. Because there too she was taking care of an old man, and because she has a very good heart, she could cure this old man too with her care. After coming back home, she starts making medicine for the old man. She had changed all the old man's medicines, and now he is completely fine because of taking care of Grace's mom. As soon as he wakes up, he says, where is my caretaker? He also takes her name but he finds Grace's mom in front of him. Who says that it is your niece who has hired me? He says but I don't have any niece. Hearing this, Grace's mom feels, as the old man has just come to his senses, that is why he is saying this. And because Catherine was not at home yet, so she starts taking care of him. Where the old man becomes good friends with Grace too. Now one day the old man meets Grace's mom. She told him that I am from Philippines. The old man was not surprised to hear this, but he told her that my caretaker was also from the same place. She was more than my mother and I used to love her very much. On asking further, Grace's mom tells her that I had married a man who used to beat me a lot and when he came to know that I was going to be a mother. He tried to take my life but I ran away from there. I broke the relationship with him, but I have not told Grace to date that her dad is alive. I have said that your dad is dead. Actually, her dad has remarried again, and now he is living his life comfortably. Hearing this, the old man says, but now I have an offer for you, 
I will easily handle the matter of your citizen's certificate, but will you be my caretaker for the whole time? Hearing this, Grace's mom agreed without thinking, she said this because, for some reason, he had to deal with Catherine. For which he needed Grace's mom, but here we saw that with time, the old man's behavior was also changing. Which was less good and more bad. One day, he told Grace that your mom had lied to you, that your dad is alive. On which Grace got angry with her mom. She stopped talking to her, and now she started living only with the old man. Due to which Grace's mom was very upset. She could not understand why the old man did this. To find out why, she searched the entire house, where she found many letters from the old man's caretaker. All of which she had written for her family and daughter. Grace's mom came to know that the old man loved his caretaker very much. But when she tried to send letters to her family, the old man's family did not allow her to do so. This is the reason, the caretaker started moving away, from her family and daughter. After which the old man's family made that poor girl their slave, and started making her do all their good and bad things. Now after hearing all these things, Grace's mom feels very bad for the caretaker. Well, the next day Catherine comes back home. She searches for Grace's mom everywhere in the house, but she could not see her anywhere. She went to the kitchen and saw that tea was making, so she took it out and started drinking it. But as soon as she drinks it, she spits it away, because Grace had mixed something in it. When she went to the bathroom to take a bath, Grace had also mixed something in the shampoo and body lotion. Due to which as soon as it was applied, big spots were formed on Catherine's body and face. In which Catherine was feeling pain and came to know that Grace had done all this on the advice of the old man. Now when Catherine came down, she saw that Grace's mom and the old man were together. After seeing the older man safe and sound, Catherine loses consciousness, and she gets stunned. When Grace's mom leaves, a conversation starts between Catherine and the old man. Catherine tells the old man that now I will throw you out of this house. By giving money to some people, I transferred your everything to my name. Which was already mine, but you cleverly made me sign those papers, and took everything of mine in your name. Then killed my dad too. After which he sent my mother to a mental asylum for treatment. Where he took her life, although you were my uncle, you did so bad to me. Hearing this, the old man laughingly replies that look. You were sending me into a coma and giving me sleeping pills, so that I could die slowly. Today, I am in front of you, that's too safe and sound. And as for your property, it is in my name only, so how can you push me out and now let's talk about you. Look, because you are my niece, I don't want to throw you out of the house, you can stay here if you want. Catherine was surprised to hear this, because she wanted to get her property back, but now she had no way. That's why she remained silent and did not give any answer, but at night she asked Grace's mom, that that old man will keep you with him forever, and you will never be free, saying which Catherine removes the curtain, and shows the dead body of the old woman kept in a glass box, and tells her that look, this was the caretaker of the old man. When the caretaker tried to escape from here, he killed her and locked her in this box. And now you will also have the same treatment. And the rest is mine, I have to take revenge from him, I will kill him. Saying this, she gave money to Grace's mom, and said that you are no longer of any use to me, and you have betrayed me. Perhaps betrayal is in your blood. We may help you as much as we want but you will betray us, take this money and get out of here. Just yours keep your mouth shut. Listening to which Grace's mother is crying, help, how will you help us? We clean your house or cook food, we do bath and walk your dogs. If someone is sick, we even take care of him. If we help her clean up the mess, we will help you, not you. Saying this, she returns Catherine's money to her, and starts leaving from here with Grace. But Grace did not want to go, then the police came here, who come to arrest the mother. Because she was living illegally. The complaint was lodged by the old man. The police arrest her and take her away. And because she needed Grace's help right now. That is why he falsely promises Grace. That I will get your mom freed from the jail. Just you help me to get Catherine out of the way. And now on his request, she injects Grace, and makes Catherine unconscious. Because Catherine came here to kill the old man. Now here, due to the injection, she starts seeing all her helpers in the form of ghosts. All of whom Catherine had misbehaved with. And they had come here to make her feel embarrassed. It means the old man is bad. But she was no less, both of them were superior to each other. Now, Grace used to help the old man, so now she asks the old man to free her mom from jail. But he starts avoiding the matter here. Meanwhile, Grace comes to know, that it is he who got my mom arrested. She hits the old man with something and runs away. The old man also chases her, because he now wants to end Grace. The reason is that he loved to make people slaves. Grace too cleverly sets fire to the storeroom, and makes the box containing the caretaker's body fall on the old man, which fell on his feet so he could no longer move. 
Now, Catherine came and helped Grace, because she realized her mistake. The whole house was on fire. Catherine comes out of the house with Grace, and the two watch the whole house and the old man burning. After this, Catherine comes to the prison to free Grace's mom. She hires a lawyer for her, who proves her innocence. After this, Grace's mom also got the certificate of citizenship here. After receiving which she became very happy. So now they had no fear that could live here freely. Now, the bad behavior Catherine did to the helpers in past. It was because that like the old man, she also did not consider the helpers as human beings, but now she had improved, she had realized her mistake. Now Grace's mom took her and went out to tour the city. Because now she had the confidence of being a citizen of this place. Which he always needed. With this, the story of this film also ends here.